Using advanced machine learning techniques on imaging data, our next team can detect changes in tissue to support the diagnosis of dementia and MS. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Artur post Eiterbeer of Quantiv. Hello everyone, great to be here. I want to talk to you about Quantip. We have a big aim to democratize radiology with AI. And by democratize, I mean help the general radiologist in maybe a peripheral center answer clinical relevant questions that nowadays can only be answered by the top specialist, subspecialized radiologist in academic medical centers. And this is a big aim. So we focus. We focus on MRI and we focus on three, on three carefully selected areas within MRI. First of all, we're looking at dementia. As Mark von Buchem, on our, our keynote speaker, said, it's hard to read these images. 44 million people suffer of dementia, and it takes four years to, to, to come to a normal diagnosis. We speed up that process by answering the question based on MR, does this patient have a clinically significant prostate cancer? Um, 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 does this patient have aging brain? Sorry. <laughs> you guessed what the next clinical area was. <laughs> prostate cancer. One in five men will get prostate cancer at some point in their life. And it's not always that they will die of it. 80% will survive. But the big question is, how do you treat it? MRI is going to play a much bigger role in this decision. But it is extremely hard to read those multi-parametric MRI images. And we are helping the radiologists with this. By answering the question I told you already, does this patient have a clinically significant prostate cancer? And then the last domain we are focusing on is breast cancer. Breast cancer, the number one cancer killer for women. Um, and that's the reason why many uh, countries in the world have screening programs. Unfortunately, for many men, uh, for many women uh, that with, breast, uh, with, with a high breast density, um, uh, the sensitivity of those x-rays is not great. And that's where MRI comes in. However, again, there it's hard to read those scans. It's hard for a general radiologist. And we answer questions there like, is this a real or a pseudo enhancement on the scan? So back to that first question, how do we do that? How do we answer this? How would you read this image? Is this a normal brain or is this an aging brain or is this a dementia brain? Even Mark says, Mark van Buchem says, I cannot read it by myself. I need better, better medical tools in clinical practice. And that's exactly what we've built. We measure the brain, give the volume, and we compare that volume to a cohort of 5,000 healthy subjects. And we tell the radiologist whether this is a normal brain or an abnormally aging brain. In fact, we dive deeper, we look at the substructures, and we have, a finger, we have a fingerprint of that disease that is patented and that will tell the radiologist between the different sub-diagnoses uh, uh, of dementia. And actually, this is a technology that's being used all the time. On the photo, you see Professor Vernoy, one of the big talents in radiology of the Netherlands, presenting, and this is her uh, keynote speech on her, uh, when she became a professor and she's presenting on our tool. In fact, there's many radiologists across the world, in Europe, in Asia, and in the US, using our tools. And we are integrated into the workflow of four global equipment and PACS players. As said, was said before, uh, in AI, you cannot play alone. You need to work with key partners, and you need to have data and fantastic ground truth. We are lucky to work with two big clinical centers and two, two of the biggest radiology practices of the Netherlands. They provide us with data and expertise. They want us to be extremely successful because they are our shareholders. What do we do with these algorithms? It's great to have them and we develop them together with those clinical parties. But at the same time, we want to revolutionize AI and democratize AI. We need global distribution partners. What if we can bring those great algorithms under one click in the, under the fingers of a radiologist anywhere in the world through Philips Illumio? Wouldn't that be a great out outcome? And that is a question that we will be answering in the coming weeks with Philips. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>